Hey there, everybody. Um, welcome to today's video. Um, today, we're going to be going over um, the conclusion of the Dunwich Horror by H.P. Lovecraft for our Cthulhu Mythos Thursdays. Um, just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we're in chapter 7 here of the Dunwich Horror. And now that Wilbur Watley is dead, um, the thing, we'll say, um, that was in the Watley farmhouse um, doesn't have anyone feeding it anymore. So... People hear horrible noises. They hear, or they see these giant tracks that look like bigger than elephant tracks, and um, come like it's almost like a house is like going through the woods, just like taking all the trees down with it, kind of thing. And we uh, we find uh, houses that, like, the whole side of the house has been ripped off and everybody inside's dead. Um, so, everywhere around, there's just carnage and um, all sorts of crap. And everyone's afraid, as they should be, when things of this nature happen. And um, Professor Armitage and some other dudes from uh, Miskatonic University are trying to go through Wilbur's journals, trying to um, figure out what the hell's happening. Because obviously, something very dark and sinister is going on. <clears throat> and while they're deciphering this stuff, my favorite thing that um, comes up is uh, when Wilbur was three years old, he wrote in the journal that um, he can't wait to see what things are like when he clears the earth. Clears the earth were, uh, were his words there. Um, it's just amazing. Um, so, this ending to this is so just bizarre. So, the professor's, um, figure that, um, whatever this thing is, um, it can't be seen. It's invisible. And, um, so they show up with this sprayer, and um, it's kind of like the Invisible Man thing, like, oh, well, we all know where he is when it starts snowing. So he's going to spray um, this invisible monstrosity with something that'll stick to it. Um, and whatever. And he brings a telescope and sets it up. I'm sure there was a good reason for this, but it it just seems like such a silly thing to do. Okay, we're going to bring a telescope, and we're going to set it up so all the townspeople could, like, watch through the telescope what's going on. So, they do that. The trees are moving. Someone's, like, the thing is coming. So... The professors go up to the hill where the uh, altar and stuff is. And, um, like, the, the people in town are basically, whoever's looking through the telescope is reporting to everyone else what's going on. And it's so funny because there's a Bukowski story that does this exact same thing where, um, and I'm sure there's other stories that have done it, but where the 
climax, the horrible thing that's happening, um, the writer isn't telling you what's happening. Um, the writer is letting onlookers explain to you um, what's going on. And um, it's it's really cool. Like I like I'm not knocking it. I like it. <clears throat> it's just it's funny. So they spray the thing. The Armitage is doing some chanting and cantations and arms in the air and all this other stuff. And someone's like, oh, can you see it? It looks like old Wizard Watley. Like, on a giant face. Look at it. And it's just like everyone's freaking out. And this is where, like the twist of the twist comes. Now, again, if you haven't read this, go read it. Um, you could read it on weirdmass.com. You could find it anywhere. When you're reading it, I think you're supposed to believe that... At first, I think you're supposed to think that this is like um, yog Sothoth or something like that like trying to break into our reality, break into our world, and that's why he's invisible. He hasn't completely manifested yet. But then when they're talking, you're like, oh my gosh, is it like some evil spirit of the great grandpa or whatever? And um, then at the end, y you have like your typical Lovecraft, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist your mind with the last line, um, but it's Wilbur's twin brother, okay, who, like, we never had any knowledge had existed, so some people would go, oh, that's really weak storytelling, like, you're just, like, bringing in a character no one knew existed at the very last line. Um, but, like, we knew there was something because on the grandpa's deathbed, he's like, you gotta feed it, and da 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 da, -da you know, and um, so we knew there was something there, um, but we just didn't know what. So, um, that's the story, and it's, again... It's really fun. It's really pulpy. Um, it moves at a much quicker clip than most Lovecraft stuff. Um, and I just love the fact that the big final battle is happening super far away. And um, you're being told about it by onlookers through a telescope. It's just, it's, there's, there's a charm to it, you know? And I think a lot of it, too, goes back to the fear, the horror of it being something that you don't understand. So, to keep that whole cosmic fear going... Instead of Lovecraft writing like, yeah, they sprayed it and it looked like this. And then these are the words that he said out of the book and blah, 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 blah. It's like, what's he doing? Well, I think he's he's raising his arms up and he's chanting something. Oh, look, look out. Let me look. What's that? Oh, my gosh. That thing's face. It looks like old Wizard Wiley. It's like... um. You, like, it's the only way to tell a story with a finish when you don't know how to explain the finish. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's clever. It, it's like, um, it has a charm, okay? So anyway, so let me know what you thought of Dumb Much Horror down below. Um, I had a lot of great conversations um, on the last Dunwich Horror video, 
so yeah um and next time i don't know what's next should i look let me look real quick we're gonna do the whisperer in the dark which is super fun um i like that story a lot and um it takes place in vermont mr richardson so um that'll be fun so um yeah, so until next time, I will see you later.